you've now used the conservation of momentum, but it worked because that was an isolated system. So now we're going to see how an external force changes the momentum of a system. And it really just comes from our restatement of Newton's second law in terms of momentum. And that is that the external force equals the change in momentum of the system in some time. I'm leaving the summation symbol off of here. And technically, it's always the, the net force, the sum of all the forces. But often, in a problem where we have an external force changing the momentum of a system, it's usually a large, singular external force bigger than all other forces. So since we usually think of it that way, I'm just going to leave the sum off there. There is a single external force that is doing this, is how we usually think about it. So we could just rearrange this and say, therefore, the change in momentum we're looking for is that external force times uh, delta t. So since we use this to solve problems a lot, we give this, uh, or since it comes up a lot in the world, we have this, this has a name called the impulse. The external force that applies is applied to the system for some time is the impulse. It's usually, USU is abbreviation for usually, a strong force for a short time. Doesn't have to be, but that's often how it works out. So this actually is its own quantity, I, big I, and it's equal to F delta T, and it's in uh, newtons times seconds, which, uh, well, of course, it's in uh, delta P. So it's in kilogram meters per second. All right. And one more thing I want to stress is that impulse is not a property of the system. What is it? It's not a property. It describes an action. So it's kind of like work. Work for energy. You don't have work. Work is what you do to change your energy. You don't have impulse. You apply an impulse to change the momentum. So in that way, it's similar. So let's look at an impulse. I can show you one here on the table. Impulse is often illustrated by kicking a ball. So here I'm just going to toe punch this thing. So let's have a look at what we just did. We had the ball coming, V naught towards the foot. And then they briefly collided. So the ball was kind of, the foot was like this. And the ball uh, deforms around the foot. And there's a force a large force that the foot applies to the ball. But according to Newton, there's also a force that the ball applies to the foot. And then the final state is that the ball then flies away with the final. The ball has some mass. So in an impulse problem, we aren't trying to conserve momentum. Okay? We're not thinking about the foot as part of the system. The system is just the ball. We're looking at the change in momentum. And the expression is simply F, the force you applied, times delta T, the time you applied it, um, is equal to the change in momentum, which is just the mass times the velocity final minus the velocity initial, the change in velocity, if we're treating these um, as vectors like that. One thing about this force is if you really were to plot it in real time, it would look something force versus time. I mean, it wouldn't be constant for a short delta t. So force is probably going to change. It would probably look something like this. It would start low, and it just start to compress the ball. It would go up, and it would come back down. Well, the f times delta t is really the area under this curve. That gets into calculus. So we don't want to do calculus. So what it's usually done in physics problems is you just sort of quote the delta t and assume an average force. So if this is delta t, 
then you assume the same delta t, like this, and you just assume some average force, such that the area under that curve is the same. So if a problem gives you an average force, it says calculate an average force, you just say the impulse I'm looking for is just f times delta t. And then you don't worry about the peak force. They might ask, is the peak force higher or lower than the average force? Well, it's going to be higher. That's how we treat uh, impulse problems.